Welcome back to the Dr. Think and Shine channel. I be saucing, balling. Hoodie on my darling, yeah. Now that's the lead. I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg. I feel like Zuckerberg. I'd rather read. Hey. There we go. Welcome back to the channel. The premier channel for parents, teachers, grandparents, and all those who want the best for our children. I genuinely appreciate every like, every view, every share, every subscription. I, I, I'm just very thankful for you. So I appreciate you. Now, is there anyone out there in Doctors Think and Shine land who's celebrating a birthday? If you or someone in your household is celebrating a birthday, happy, happy birthday from Dr. Think and Shine and Friends. And you can jump on over to our kids' channel, Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School. And you can have a virtual birthday party with Dr. Think and Shine featuring the birthday DJ by Dr. Think and Shine, which is a great book about kids playing musical chairs, real low tech. Now, let's put on our governess goggles <clears throat> where we look, listen, observe, learn, no judgment. Today we're going to look at Teen Mom's Brianna. Wow. First, I would like to say congratulations, Brianna, on your new home. How wonderful. How wonderful. It's also so thoughtful of you to include your mother and your sister in the village with your children. I think it's just really wonderful the way you all work together. And happy, happy eighth birthday to you, Nova. Happy birthday, Nova. Now, let's get down to some recaps. Now, Louis, Stella's father, allegedly gave Brianna an STI chlamydia. Thank God it wasn't something that she couldn't get rid of. And uh, let me just say this. The teen moms are very brave to put their lives on television. If we had cameras on our lives and people like... Dr. Think and Shine and her governess goggles looking at our lives, we'd have something to say too. Or they'd have something to say too. But the Bible says the older women teach the younger women and I'm just here to try to help and I'm still learning myself. But let's just say um, Brianna went to the club where Lewis was DJing and she initially, originally went to go talk to him about him being absent in Stella's life and that Stella needs him and she was with a friend who was kind of egging her on. I wouldn't consider a friend as an associate who was kind of egging her on and pumping her up and all. And um, so she got drunk and invited herself. Brianna invited herself to go home with Lewis. It's not like he just got tested and invited her over. But sometimes alcohol can make you think differently with too much alcohol. And, and, and I recommend The Man with the Can by Dr. Think and Shine, one of the 20 books in the Dr. Think and Shine series, to talk to children about alcohol and drugs. And even if we know about it, we still have to pray each day that God will lead us and guide us. Anyway, so Brianna and her mom discussed Lewis and the STI right there in front of Stella. And Stella's young, but if she can say lipstick... In certain words, it's just good probably not to have kids around adult conversations. But Devoyne took Nova to lunch and she met her grandma, whom she has not seen probably in seven years or ever, if ever. Or maybe when she was a baby, I'm not sure, maybe once. It was nice to see Devoyne rapping. They call him Devon, but it's pronounced Devoyne. So De Devoyne um, rapping Stella's gift. I mean... <laughs> If a mom did it, I probably wouldn't say anything. So there's some gender biases here. But I thought it was nice that he had the wrapping paper. He had the tape. He had the scissors. And he wrapped her gift. And it wasn't the best wrapping, but he tried. I thought that was nice that the show, the producers decided to show that. That was nice. I mean, some men don't even have tape and scissors in their home. So that was good. And it's something the way we congratulate men for doing a little bit. And then we congratulate, you know. So anyway. I think that was nice. 
Paul said, whatsoever things are praiseworthy and of good report, think on these things. So I try to have positive things. Um, so it was nice, very thoughtful. Brianna has tension with Des Moines' mom because of hurt feelings in the past, something about the birth certificate and his name not being on the birth certificate. So they had bad feelings from the past. Brianna wants consistency, but I'm so thankful that she forgave Devon's mom or put it aside like Freddie. Freddie forgives one of the books in the Dr. Think and Shine series. She forgave him uh, the hurt feelings, but she did say that she wants consistency because she and she wants to protect her daughter. She said she's going to be in mama bear mode, and those were her words. I like that, but just like Kale, Kaylin, and Chelsea. They want consistency with the people in their children's lives. And and we need to know that we can control what we do, but we can't control what other people do. So it's good to let your children know that because let them know that sometimes people will let them down, but God will never let them down. That's good news. Scripture says, even when your mother and father forsake you, God will be there with you. And I'm a witness to that. Thank you, Lord. Devoin's parents came to Nova's eighth birthday party. And Brianna allowed Nova, oh, yeah. Brianna allowed Nova to stay with Devoin's mother overnight. She said, I'm giving them my trust. And let me just say, make sure that you have a code word and a code text. If, if the child doesn't have a phone, a code word. So if they say Batman, well, we watch Bat. I want to watch Batman. You sure you want to watch Batman? Yeah, I want to watch Batman. Whatever your word is. So you'll know if something's going on with your child. The, uh, the teacher called Brianna because Nova was sad at school after the visit. Brianna said to her, this could be your new normal. So that when you go to your grandma's house, you're okay. And I, of course the producers can't show everything. But it's good to ask, did anybody say or do anything to make you feel uncomfortable? Whether they're coming from a sleepover, a visit, or from school. Did anybody say or do anything to make you feel uncomfortable? What was the high point of your visit? What was the low point of your visit? Did you meet any new people? And like I said, they can't show everything on television, but I saw Devoin's sister at his mother's apartment. I'm not sure if the father or anyone else lives there. And it's good to, to write down the vehicle types and license plates and numbers of the people who your children are going to be staying with, especially if you don't know them. They're not even intimate strangers. I always ask, you know, our son, did anyone say or do anything to make you feel uncomfortable? Um... Brianna got an email that her new home was ready. And again, congratulations. Brianna wanted to have a quiet Thanksgiving, but her mom, Roxanne, took it upon herself to invite Devoin and his family for Thanksgiving. And Noble, I mean, Brianna was really upset because she just wanted to, to enjoy the new house and have a quiet holiday. She wanted to just chill. Uh, Devoin and his father came inside for Thanksgiving dinner, but the mom stayed outside in the car. I don't know why. And then it's a lot of pressure to film. People are so critical. They don't look at her hair, her teeth, her, her accent, her clothes, if she was sober or not. So it's a lot of reasons people don't want to film, and I'm not going to judge her. But she didn't come inside for the Thanksgiving. She stayed in the car. Brianna said Nova's grandma stopped calling and stopped texting. And Brianna said she's inconsistent like Devoin, Nova's father. So Devoin was 45 minutes late to take... Nova to the hair salon. So I want to ask Devoin a question. Do you have a clock in your sock? This is one of Dr. Thinkenshine's book about time management. There's a clock in my sock. Dr. Thinkenshine has a clock in her sock. Do you, Devoin, have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. <laughs> he was 45 minutes late to take Nova to, to go to the hair salon. Then he had to leave early. And this is, Brianna said, I don't. I don't think I co-parent at all. Lewis gives nothing. Devoin gives the bare minimum. I don't know which one is worse. Roxanne, Roxanne says to Brianna, you parent. You, you've done amazing. Considering your age, she said, wow. I was so scared for you. Then something magical happened. You're so maternal. Brianna said, I'm trying. I wish I didn't have to do it alone. Roxanne was crying. and Brianna said, I'm just angry. Roxanne said, you have every right to feel that. Brianna said, one day I'll explode. Not today. And that's the way the segment ended. And I want Brianna to know that to plan ahead. She had to plan ahead to get that house. You're doing great. You're doing well with your two daughters. 
You had to plan ahead to make sure they're healthy and Nova's in gymnastics. And you got her, made her hair appointment. And I mean, you're doing, you do, please, you know, just know that your feelings matter. And don't explode. I know you feel like it sometimes. I pray God will prop you up on every leaning side and that he'd make every rough place smooth and every crooked place straight. But you had to plan ahead, like plan ahead Fred in the Dr. School, Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School series. You had to plan ahead to get the credit approved and to pay the mortgage. And from what I understood, your mom said you paid it off. So that's a blessing. And it's good that you don't have a single family home. So you don't have to deal with, with, with mowing the lawn as hot as it is in Florida and that part of Florida sometimes. And just as a side note, you're doing a great job in spite of the fathers not being as active as you would like them to be in your daughter's lives. And if bees can fly, so can I. So you're an inspiration to others because scientifically, Bees are not supposed to be able to fly, but they do. And and you shouldn't be able to buy a home and rear two daughters without a father or a husband active in their lives, but you do. So I want to tell everyone who's listening, if Brianna can fly, you say to yourself, so can I. If bees can fly, so can I. If bees can fly, so can Ty. That's one of the books in the Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School series. And think about it, parents, grandparents about having a cold word for your children if they go spend the night with someone like Nova spent the night with Devoyne's mother for the first time her, yeah, and so and the sister was there and it was just different she wasn't used to it and it's okay to get used to it but make sure everything's okay and there's a book in the Dr. Think and Shine series Casmo says no so if your child is somewhere and needs to say no there are different ways to say no and this is good for adults too and then the book from the series, the Dr. Think and Shine series, The Teaching Deacon and the Reaching Deacon. That's a good conversation starter to teach your children about good touches and bad touches. But Brianna, I'm very proud of you. And every just do the best you can. And your feelings do matter. If you feel like you're going to explode, pray. See if you can talk to a therapist or someone. And I'm Dr. Think and Shine is praying for you. Until next time, friends, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the likes, all the subscriptions and the shares. And I thank you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you peace, power, and love. More love. Boost. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. See you next time. Thank you, Lord. I be saucing, falling.